Hey guys, sorry about the lighting, but it is hot outside and I had to close the blinds because it is just driving me crazy in here. So I owe you guys a book review on this one. I actually read this one last week. Uh, I did review it out on Goodreads, but I hadn't put out a video review yet. So I was looking back at some of the guests we've had on the channel and wanted to try out some of their older books, stuff I had not read yet. So I went back to Elizabeth Bear and went all the way in the uh, Wayback Machine to check out her debut novel, Hammered. Hammered's basically about a woman. Uh, she was a soldier in the, well, it's not super distant future. I think it takes place in like the 2060s. Don't quote me on that. Like I said, I read it last week. So her her uh, Armadale personal carrier uh, got blown up and she is stuck. And to save her, they basically had to uh, remove her from her arm. And she's one of the early recipients of their, let's face it, let's just call it cyborg uh, technology. So she's got herself a, a new metal arm. Uh, she's got some jacked up nervous system stuff. So she has quick reactions to things and stuff like that. But she's done her time. She actually did go back in. She served a little bit longer as a pilot. And... Yeah, she's uh, now she's she's done with that. She's off the grid. She goes by Maker now. That's her nickname. And she's just trying to live her life. Unfortunately, as one of the early recipients of this technology, uh, it's it, it's wearing down. It It's not doing so well. And of course, she's no longer wants anything to do with the government. So she can't exactly go to them for you know upgrades, stuff like that. However, uh, that doesn't mean the government's not looking for her. They've got a big bad plan uh, that they're going to do, and they need somebody kind of like her. Obviously, they have managed to upgrade the system, and they can do a better job of it now. But she's one of the few from the original series of people that got this technology who is still surviving and is adapted to it. So they kind of want her in the program just because they already know uh, what she can do with the old tech. Um, but yeah, uh, they got to find her. She, she's not trying to be found. But, you know, things happen. Uh, and some things happen that uh, basically are done to kind of lure her out. So she's on the run. But now is she the hunter or the hunted or or what? You know, it's it's schemes within schemes. And, you know, she's she's got a whole bunch of people uh, in her small group that she surrounds herself with. Some, like her sister, she doesn't necessarily want there. Uh, others she just kind of kind of lives with and others she actually cares about. But, yeah, uh, this one is very action oriented. A lot of stuff going on. Not everybody's going to survive. I'm not going to tell you who. But it's uh, this was a debut novel, so taking that into account, I gave this one four stars. It's uh, not quite a five for me, but it's darn close, and uh, it's definitely better than a three. This is not just a run-of-the-mill, everyday book. It's definitely worth go ba going back and checking out. I believe this was a trilogy. This, this is what I get for not doing a little more prep work since I haven't read the book in, in over a week. Maybe two weeks. Oh my goodness. It is, it's been a long, you know what's going on. It's been a long time. But anyhow, if you've ever thought about reading Elizabeth Bear, well, well, first of all, if you're dropping into today, I would probably just tell you to start with Lotus Kingdoms because I love this series. That's much more fantasy. This one's a little bit more sci-fi. Well, this one is sci-fi. No, no more about it. But if you did want to go back, I, I would not have any qualms in telling you to check out Hammered. You know me, I'm not a huge sci-fi fan when it comes to like space operas and stuff like this. But if you have a robot or an AI or a cyborg of some sort, and I think she has to qualify as a cyborg, uh, then yeah, check it out. You you will probably enjoy this one. I, I do like those. And I will be picking up a Jenny Casey book too at some point. Right now I am just swamped. But... I have not had a bad read by Elizabeth Bear yet, so take that for what you will. 
She has got a ton of books. She's got a ton of different series you can check out. I'm sure you're going to be able to find something that's right up your alley. And she's a heck of a good author. So take care, guys.